Shante Lowe. Shante Lowe. Shante brings the heat. Shante Lowe, always the classic. Discipline comes from years of doing it. Let's give a warm welcome to Shante Lowe. Afternoon Mars Pet Care. I'm so happy to be here today for International Women's Day. And whether you're a woman, you know a woman, you love a woman, or you're an ally to women, I commend you for being here. So when I was supportive, I had to come up and just touch her. She is way beyond bronze. She is super gold. When I was four years old, I was watching the Olympics for the very first time, and I see this woman front and center on my screen. How many of you guys know who Flojo is? And she's standing up behind her block. She has this long, gorgeous hair, and the muscles in her legs allow me to see for the first time that strength is gorgeous. Oh, like we watched the Olympics for man. stories of inspiration, but Shante's stories she already is. inspired us. She didn't have to go to the Olympics, yes, so. Man. At that moment, I was hooked. I was like, Mommy, what's it gonna take to become an Olympian? She said, hard work and perseverance. Okay, I was four years old. <laughs> I was not trying to hear that, so I go to the second wisest person I knew. That was my sister. She was six. She said, I know we'll make you faster. Why don't you eat dirt? I didn't know what to expect, but you are just so articulate and, and beautiful, and your story is inspiring. And I could not recommend you more highly for any of it. This really just, you just blew it out of the water. I quickly discovered that perseverance meant no matter how hard or how difficult, you never give up on your goal. I've been a big fan for a long time, so I am so glad for the opportunity. I love talking with you. Um, I absolutely loved her. I think she might be in my top five. Um, Holy cow. I'm going to teach you three things that helped me get through some of the most difficult moments of my life. I've been following her story the last few years through some incredibly difficult moments, including surviving cancer. I'm going to teach you how to find resilience in the face of unbelievable yeah, Olympic athletes are known for their dedication and their grit, but high jumper Shantae Lowe goes way beyond that. I'm going to teach you how to overcome burnout and fatigue, and I'm going to show you how to overcome setbacks. If there is an art to staring down obstacles and coming out on top, Shantae Lowe takes the gold. But before we do that, I want all of you to get comfortable. We're going to shake off some of that after lunch fatigue and we're going to do an ab workout, the most grueling, hardest ab workout of your entire life. You guys ready? When she said she could jump over, who was it? Six eight? LeBron. LeBron? I was like, what? I, I would, you know, I would like to see that. All right, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I saw fear in the eyes of everybody at this table. Then we're going to do something much easier. All I want you to do is look at the person next to you and I want you to flash them your toothiest smile. <laughs> all right, now here, look, look. We're all friends here, so if they have food in their teeth, please let them know. <laughs> Sophomore year in college, I had my first opportunity to try out for the Olympics. So it's 2004, and I'm competing at the Olympic trial. I am lined up against the nation's best. I mean, women who were paid to be there, Olympians, past Olympians, American record holders, and so they line up all of the athletes in the end. It's kind of embarrassed, I was wearing a baggy, uniform, I had my hair tilted off to the side, one eye was closed because the sun was flashing in my face. You don't believe me? I have proof. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so embarrassing. I have no accolades. And so then, they, they introduced my training part of this. The crowd goes wild. Yeah, and they hear this woman, that's my baby! I'm pretty sure that was her mom. And then they introduce me, Shantae Lowe, NCAA, and then I get the most pitiful, sad clap that anybody could get. Oh, yay, poor baby, she's about to get beat so bad. I had done it. I had made my first Olympic team. And in today's Georgia athlete, meet high jumper Shantae Lowe. Now Lowe was the first female Georgia Tech athlete to go to the Olympics. But this was just the quiet before the storm. How many of you guys have ever felt like that? Like things were going good, things were going way too good, something really, really bad is about to happen. Yeah, some of us feel like that right now, right? <laughs> we're meeting in person, I'm seeing people that I've never seen before, that worked with me for months, there's something bad about to happen. In 2018, I found an itsy-bitsy rice-size lump. 
That lump turned out to be breast cancer. It was the most difficult situation of my life. I had to have a double mastectomy and chemotherapy. But one thing that you notice in this picture, I have a smile on my face. And the muscles that I developed for resilience in that time period allowed me to fight for my life. Even when it feels like you can't take one more step forward, resilience is a choice. It's a muscle that you develop each and every day, and you have a solid support system here that is supporting you. That's my time. Thank you for joining me on this interview. I just had the honor and privilege of hearing Shantae Lowe speak. And oh my gosh, she was so emotional and comical and really pulled at our heartstrings. I would highly recommend her for any speaking engagement. Shantae, oh my word. Oh my word. Man. Wow.